Hi, I'm Fiona and I'm the Green Guardians Project Officer uh, for the Green Futures programme here at YDMT. We're here today in Ostrich Hall Woods uh, with our apprentices to give them a bit of an insight into how public engagement works uh, for um, an NG a conservation yeah, NGO. It's just giving people a bit of a taster really of activities that we might do, um, bringing uh, groups of uh, young people or older people into the woods isn't necessarily the easiest thing to, to do. A lot of people, it's a bit of an alien environment for them. We work with a lot of groups from um, inner cities um, and uh, they can be quite nervous coming into the woods um, so it's our job really to make uh, the countryside as um, welcoming as we can so hopefully today our apprentices will uh, get a bit of an idea um, how we do that and um, hopefully um, they might be able to take those skills back into their roles uh, within their organisations as well. My name's Jo and I'm the Apprenticeship Coordinator of the Yorkshire Dales Millennium Trust. Uh, my job involves um, finding employers, finding um, young people who need a job and putting them together to work in the outdoors to help conserve, protect and enhance the landscape of the Dales and further afield. <laughs> what we do, we don't employ anybody, we find employers in the rural industries. We then work with our local college, Craven College, to do a, the run the Countryside Worker Apprenticeship. It's a standard that has a lot of outdoor elements in it. So they could be learning a lot of things from dry stone walling, um, about the habitats of the area, the species of the area. Um, and we, as uh, Yorkshire Dales Millennium Trust, and with the help of the players at the People's Postcode Lottery, we um, pay for extra training that they need, extra certificated skills, because to do any job that's outdoors in the rural landscape, you've got to have certificate, uh, certificated skills. If you're going to pick up a chainsaw or ride a quad bike or anything like that, you've got to have the certificate. And they cost a lot of money. So it can be difficult for employers. They don't want to spend a lot of money on a young person that they're not sure if they're going to stay with them or not. So if we can help by putting through those, it helps the employers and it also helps the young people because they end their apprenticeship, which is at the moment runs for 18 months. Um, they've got some really good uh, certificates there behind them and their apprenticeship and really good work experience to help them get a job. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. But surprising bike has not broken. Well, no, but I imagine you have a specialised camera. But it's like you learn a lot of good skills and stuff along the way. So. Yeah. I've just been going on my trials bike too much. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, still enjoying it. Learning lots of uh, new skills and done lots of training courses uh, recently. Uh, getting out new places, uh, meeting new people and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Really enjoying it. Best bit so far. Helicopter. Yeah, go, going up in the helicopter and doing helicopter lifts and yeah. stuff like that. Use one of those as a bit of a, rather than stand here and do... I mean, they do, they, they really come out of it with, with a whole raft of, of skills. Um, and as I said, that work experience is key as well. Um, it's all very well, you can go and do the course at college, that's just a standard course, but at the end of it, you still haven't got that practical hands-on experience as well, which this, these have. So I, I think they're brilliant, I think. They're not getting into huge debt at university and they're, you know, learning, earning and, yeah, building a great CV.